Hey, how y'all doing? God bless y'all. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hey, this is Brother Eric from Remnants of Fire Ministries. I just want to come on here and just share my joy. Share with the joy of the Lord with everybody. The Lord is doing mighty things, y'all. He's blessing us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We just want to just thank the Lord for what he's doing. It's all about praise and thanksgiving right now, everybody. Thank you, Lord. The Lord has given us joy. He's refreshing us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you. This is the season right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Where the Lord is being high and lifted up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is pouring out his spirit upon all flesh in this season. Right right now as we speak, brothers and sisters. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says in, in John 14 and 17, it says, For the spirit of truth shall come, which the world cannot receive. And the spirit of truth is Jesus Christ, brothers and sisters. The spirit of truth is moving. Thank you, Lord. The Lord is breaking up the spirit of religion with his word, which is a hammer. Thank you, Lord. That's what he was telling Jeremiah. He said, isn't my word like a hammer? The Lord is breaking up the spirit of religion with his hammer. The Lord, our God, is burning down every religious, every demonic, every satanic altar with the fire and the wrath of his fire and his spirit. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. We speak liberty in our lives in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that whomsoever the sun sets free is free indeed. We, we declare and we decree today that we are free in the power and in the anointing of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We are free. We are free in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let's just, we just going to worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. The Bible says that he seeketh such to worship him. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hata ro sheki randi bakia hato rienda beri an seri anda ha ro riende kaya ha ro shendi ko reba ya kata randa ya basha hata ro kerienda ya bosa. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says that when Ezekiel, I believe it was Ezekiel. Or Daniel, the Bible says that when they saw his throne, the Bible says that they saw the appearance of a man. The Bible says in the book of Daniel that when he saw the Lord, he said that fire issued from the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The Lord is high and lifted up in this season. Thank you, Jesus. No more religion. No more religion. No more religion. No more religion. Religion is burned. The spirit of religion is dismantled and destroyed by the fire and the sword and the fury and the wrath of Jesus Christ. Right now, in the name of Jesus, there shall be fullness of joy and pleasures forevermore amongst the people. He said that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we just thank you for freedom. We thank you for victory, Lord. We just thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I just want to read a few scriptures. Thank you, Lord. 
Oh, thank you, God. And I want to go to Acts chapter 2. Thank you, Jesus. I want to go to Acts chapter 2, verse 3. It says, And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire, and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Thank you, Lord. So that's the time we're in right now. Thank you, Lord. The Lord is pouring out his Spirit, brothers and sisters. We're going to go to Joel chapter 2. We're going to go to Joel chapter 2. Verse 28, it says, and it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit. He said, my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy and your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions. He said, and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days, will I pour out my spirit? Thank you, Lord. And he said, I shall show wonders in the heavens and in the earth. That means that the Lord's spirit is getting ready to be manifested. It's getting ready to be manifested. He said, greater work shall ye do in my name. Thank you, Lord. So the Lord is pouring out his spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The Spirit of the Lord is saying that I'm giving you all of me. That's what he's doing in this season. He's pouring out his spirit so that he can give us all of him so that we can be complete in him. The, let's read Colossians 2 and 8. It says, Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. The Spirit of the Lord said, That is broken. No more of that. No more of that. We prophesy that in the Spirit right now. No more philosophy. No more vain deceit. No more traditions of men. No more rudiments of the world. It is everything is going to be about Christ. Thank you, Lord. And he says, for in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Verse 10, and ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. Thank you, Lord. That's why he said in Isaiah chapter four, he said, he said, I, the Lord, create good and evil. He said, I, the Lord, do these things. So everything that's going on in this world right now, the Lord has allowed it to happen. That's the Lord doing that. So we can't be uh, tricked and deceived and hindered by what's going on in the world. The Lord is in control of all of that. He said he, said he is the head of all principality and power. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So we are complete in him. This is the season to be complete in the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, to get everything that we need. The spirit of the Lord is saying that my purpose, your purpose is hidden in me. Everything is in me. He is all in all. Thank you, Lord. In verse 18, he said, let no man beguile you of your reward in a voluntary humility and worshiping of angels, intruding into those things which he hath not seen, vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind. The Lord is saying, let no man beguile you. No more of that, says the Lord. I, I prophesy to my brothers and sisters in the spirit of the name of Jesus Christ. No more of nobody beguiling you of your reward. The Lord is saying right now that you're going to receive the reward that's in me, says the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is also saying that we shall receive his fullness, all of him. In Ephesians 3 and 19, he says, and to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. And the Lord is saying that I'm going to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you ask or think. That's in verse 20. The Bible says now unto him that is able, he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power which worketh in us. The spirit of the Lord is saying that the power 
that he has is in us. He said that the, he said in Matthew 28, he said, the father has given me all power in heaven and in earth that we have that same power, brothers and sisters, says the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The spirit of the Lord is also saying that I'm giving my people unctions. He get, he's given them prophetic unctions, said the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Prophetic unctions from the Holy One, which is Jesus Christ. He said in 1 John 2 and 20, he said, but ye have an unction from the Holy One. And ye know all things. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Spirit of the Lord said that he's given his people a direct message. Direct message. Individually, direct message. The Lord said there's going to be a time where all of us individually have to spend some time alone with him. John would have never been able to write all of those powerful, prophetic, revelatory things that he wrote in the book of Revelations if he was not on that island of Patmos by himself. The Lord said it's time to get by yourself so that I can bless you the way that I have been called to bless you, says the Lord. The Lord said, I'm your God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 27 of 1 John 2 and 27, he said, but the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you. And ye need not any man teach you, but as the same anointing teacheth you all things and is truth and is no lie. And, and even as it had taught you, ye shall abide in him, says the Lord. That's the time we live in right now. This is the season we in right now. The Lord is saying, I'm wanna, I, want, I want you to be alone with me so that I can teach you. The Bible says, David says in Psalms 119 verse 99, he said that I have learned more than my teachers. He said, and, and, and I, I don't want to misquote that. Let's go to that right quick. That's very powerful. This is the time where the Holy Spirit is, is he said, I'm going to teach directly, says the Lord. He said, I don't want my people to miss out on what I have for them, says the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. All right. It says in Psalms 119, verse 99, he said, I have more understanding than all my teachers for thy testimonies are my meditation. So David is saying here that the things that the Lord has done for him individually, those are his those are his testimonies. He know that the Lord made a way for him. It was nothing but God that made a way for him. And he said, all of the things that the Lord has done for me are my meditation that increased his faith, brothers and sisters. And the spirit is also saying that the things that I'm doing for my people, says the Lord. He's saying that you have to fight the good fight of faith. He said, you got to fight for what I'm giving you, said the Lord. He said, don't think in your mind that you can't get it. He said, I'm there with you and I'm going to help you, but I gave you the power to fight because everything that the Lord is giving us is all designed for him to be glorified. Marriage, business, family, homes, households, ministries. The Lord is saying that I have made my people to be ministers of reconciliation, ambassadors for Jesus Christ. He said, the Lord said, I'm, I'm setting up uh, ordinances and I'm setting up administration of my kingdom on earth as it is in heaven. He's setting up embassies. The spirit of the Lord is saying that through marriages, through married couple, through a man and a woman, that he's setting up embassies, says the Lord. He's setting up embassies. He's setting up administrations of his glory, of his power, says the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So, yeah, the Lord is doing great things, brothers and sisters. He's doing great things. He's doing great things. Hey, how y'all doing, Sister Tony, Sister Sade? How y'all doing? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So, yes, the Lord is saying we are complete in him. The Lord is saying that his that our that his spiritual gifts he gave us he gave us all gifts he said to stir up the gift that is hidden within thee, 
that was given to thee by prophecy. The Lord said it's going to be times where you're going to be travailing. You're going to be fasting. You're going to be praying and your gift is going to be stirred up, says the Lord. And you're going to be laying hands on the sick in his name. You're going to be casting out demons in his name. You're going to be raising people from the dead in his name. You're going to be prophesying in his name, interpreting tongues in his name, feeding the, feeding the hungry in his name, clothing the naked in his name. All of these things is getting ready to be manifested through us because we are all vessels of honor, sanctification, and righteousness, says the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. The Lord said it's going to come to a time where you're going to be in services. You're going to be in places where the Lord is going to use you and the Lord's glory is going to come in to where everybody is just going to be crying out to the Lord. Let's go to Second Chronicles 5 and 14. It says so that the priests could not stand to minister by the reason of the cloud. For the glory of the Lord had filled the house of God. The Lord is saying that there's getting ready to be times where you're going to be at your family member's house. You're going to be in churches. You're going to be in groups and settings where the Lord is going to use you or he's going to use someone else. And the Lord's glory is just going to come in and just fill the house. Remember, I, remember he said that I'm going to pour out my spirit upon all flesh, says the Lord. Thank you, God. The Lord is saying that I'm going to be high and lifted up. This is the time where we're going to actually see his glory cloud, his manifestation, his power, his glory, says the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Acts chapter three, verse 19. Hold on one second, y'all. I need to. Plug my charge up on my phone right quick. The Lord is saying, let me read this. This is Acts 3 and 19. Acts 3 and 19. He says, repent. He says, repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. So the spirit of the Lord is saying that the refreshing is when we're going to be in prayer. He, the Lord is saying there's, there's going to be times where you're going to be in prayer and you're just going to feel his love. You're going to feel his comfort and you, you're just going to begin to just cry and cry out to him. You're going to cry tears of joy. Just like what Peter said. That there shall be joy unspeakable and full of glory. The Lord said that happy days are here. Happiness in the spirit is here. Tears of joy is here. You're going to be crying. But the Lord said it's going to be tears of joy. Tears of joy. Tears of peace says the Lord. He said, he said in the word he said my peace I give unto you. Thank you Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, <clears throat> we just thank you on today. We just thank you on today. We thank you for speaking by your spirit and by your power today. We thank you for this word, this revelatory word that you gave us on today, God. We thank you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, this word that came out today, we speak and we prophesy that it has penetrated every heart, that everybody is going to be blessed, everybody is going to be filled with your glory, that they're going to see your glory, that our, that we as your people, we're going to see our business come into fruition, our marriages come together, marriages being reconciled, um, restored and renewed families being reconciled restored and renewed in the in jesus name in jesus mighty name we pray in jesus name amen god bless you all y'all have a good rest of the weekend <laughs>